Hi Venus, I'm back here to give some brief idea about your schedule and managing the time. So I hope most of the dates are fixed. Uh, I mean the chances are very very less that your exam can be postponed. So you can consider these dates as the final dates for now. So your ICINET simply consider it as AIMS because you have only AIMS seats. That is going to be on 20th November and the next one is the big day that's going to be neat on 16th December. So first of all if you just consider the difference between the dates. Okay, if you consider the difference between the 20th November and the 16th December, it is hardly 24 days. Okay, so make a note. You will not have much time lap between aims and need and of course the need result will be out probably a week or 10 days after the exam. So the result will be mostly will be on the end of November or maybe the initial days of December. So whatever may be the result, whether it's a good result or a bad result, anything. Just prepare your mind that you will be psychologically a bit disturbed by seeing your scores or by seeing your performance. So we have some expectations. We may or may not reach the expectations, but you will be psychologically deviated. Can be positive, can be negative. So I want you guys to get prepared for that. Okay, so there is going to be a day in between 20th November 2020 to 16th December 2020 where your AIMS result is going to be out. So get prepared for that. Okay, that's the first important thing because I have seen so many students in the last few years suffering a lot after the AIMS result. They don't keep AIMS as a target, but they suffer after seeing the result. So that is a normal psychology of, an, uh, of every individual. We aim very high. We don't aim, but we feel like we aim for that. Okay, so people are getting disturbed after the result. So I don't want people who really don't aim for AIMS don't get psychological issues. Even if, you, if you're aiming for aims, then, okay, uh, your disturbance can be taken into consideration. So that's the first important thing. And my special consideration for each and everyone to apply for this examination and make sure you give this exam. So you can ask me the reason. I always say your aims, or now it is called as ICI and ET, is going to be the trailer version of your need. So once you give this exam, the initial exam, you'll get to know that where you are lagging and how you are psychologically well or strong in the examination. Few people, they do their performance at the best when it is an examination on a mobile or on a laptop in a room. But once they see the crowd, they may get psychologically disturbed. Once they are going through a traffic in a metropolitan city like Hyderabad or any other city like Mumbai or Bangalore, okay? So what happens is when you're going through that traffic on that day, you may get deviated, you may get disturbed, okay? So that disturbance can cause some sort of effect on the examination, we, but we are not aware of that. But the AIMS exam is going to give such awareness. So many of the people were not on time at the examination hall, missed the exam. So that's a precaution that you have to take for the NEET. Because if you want to give NEET, by skipping this, you have to wait for one more year, right? So similarly, pe few people, they have some uh, phobia towards the examination hall or towards the crowd, okay? So they get panic. And few people, okay, uh, like you, I mean, like most of you were studying in your hometowns. Now that you have to move to give examination to the metropolitan cities, stay, stay in a... Uh, in a place for overnight and then give the exam so they have some some problems or, or overnight stay okay so all these has to be taken into consideration once you give aims you'll get an idea okay this is where i'm lagging this is the where i mean the, all these what i have discussed are very very minute things which are nowhere related to your preparation but they're going to affect your result so all these can be uh, prevented. So prevention is important, right? So prevented by giving aims, you'll get to know so many new things that, okay, so these are the precautions that I have to take. These are the things that I have to focus on. So apart from the subject wise, there are many other aspects where you are going to get benefited if you give aims. So I personally request 
each and every student of MDS Conquer, make sure you give AIMS examination, which is going to be the trailer of your original NEET. So, yes, perfect. So the next important aspect, like before I'm talking about the things, what you need to do, how you need to organize, make sure each and every one, okay, whether you have started preparation now, whether you have started preparation long back, make sure you try to give your best from this point. I don't want to uh, make a general, uh, uh, make a vague statement of about the generalized preparation, but whatever may be your levels of preparation, because everyone has their limitations in the preparation. That's what I analyzed in the past seven years. Few people, they can work only up to five hours. Few people, they can work only up to two hours. Few people, they can work only when their kids are on the bed. Okay, so uh, these are the different things. Okay, so I don't want to uh, like uh, judge your preparation, but my strong belief is as much as you invest your time on the preparation, the better the outcomes are. So for example, if I'm considering 15 hours per day as your preparation time, make sure you split this 15 hours into five parts. Okay, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. So each part you are going to carry three hours. If you are not well strong with the present topic of discussion on the day, okay, make sure you drop two parts. If you are not good at two parts, means six hours to present subject. But if you are good at, for example, if you are already done with this, you drop just one part, only one part. Means three hours for revision of the topic, which is on that day. If you are not good or if you are not very confident, make it two parts. That's going to be six hours. So what you are going to do in the next rest of the nine hours? Okay. So what you are going to do in the rest of the nine hours? It's very clear that I told you there is a packet. There is a pack or a bunch of subjects which are completely memory based. What are the first year subjects? Anatomy, which is included in this, in this round. Okay. Then the second subject, biochemistry. Okay, then coming to the second year subject, pharmacology, your microbiology, then coming to the general medicine plus physiology. Okay, and if you want to include, you can include dental materials, dental anatomy plus dental histology. Again, dental anatomy, dental histology are a part of this combo. Okay, so these are two will be covered as of now. But this pack of subjects are solidly memory based and out of which 100% is memory based with less concepts is going to be your pharmacology. Maybe there may be few co concepts related to your pharmacokinetics and dynamics, but most of your pharmacology is memory based. So make sure you give importance to this combination along with oral path, oral medicine and radiology every day, three hours. So keep it every day, three hours. It can be your PP books. For example, you're doing the same subjects in the PP books. Okay, consider it as three hours. So from now, every day, three hours has to be given to these subjects. What are they? Anatomy, which is going to carry 14 marks for NEET. Biochemistry, which is going to carry seven marks. Pharmacology, which is going to carry 14. Micro, which is going to carry 14. General Medicine Physio, which is going to carry 21. Dental Materials is going to be 14. Dental Anatomy, Dental Histology, 14. Oral Pathology is 14. Oral Medicine and Radiology is 14. So there are decent number of scores which are included in this bulk of subjects which are going to drop 3 hours per day. As you are covering Anatomy and Dental Anatomy, Dental Histology in this combination, okay, you can give rest all subjects rest all subjects you can drop recently you're done with pharmacology microbiology okay general medicine and physio so you give more importance to keep dm or biochem and this oral path oral medicine combination in this three hours per day so every day three hours for example if a person is able to study only 10 hours so every day give two hours if you're able to study 15 15 plus every day give three hours for this combination of subjects which are solidly memory based so what you're going to do in this three hours. So in the leftover three hours, make sure you give one and a half hour time for exam every day. 
do one or other exam exam which is already done just go through the question and answers and explanation or we are going we are planning to upload as number of exams as possible from now so do some sort of examination and make sure as our first examination is going to be aims so make sure make sure you try to be active in the morning 9 to 12 so don't don't get up late okay make sure you 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 have it with the habit of get up in like waking up at 7 6 or 7 because on the exam day again you have to get up early because uh, you need to be one hour uh, one one hour before the examination okay so you need to be as they have given 9 you have to be there at 8 so from your place you have to travel okay it may take one hour minimum roughly we take one hour so you need to start from your place minimum at 7 so you need to get up have your breakfast you need to you need to have your bath so so on the day you're going to, you you make sure that you have to get up at at least at 5 o'clock at least at 5 o'clock so so from now make sure you you just try to wake up at at least at 6 or 7 so that your you should be active and make your adrenal level should be active by 9 so that you can perform well on the day of examination that you have to uh, practice from now right so make sure you you try to utilize this 9 to 12 the time between 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock uh, use one at least try to give some sort of examination or try to may, may try to give some like try, try to see the laptop with high resolution so that your eyes will get strained and you will get you will get adapted to the system so the next one and a half hour okay you can keep for your pp books you can keep for your short notes so now we are going to start 32 series okay 32 series videos you can you can drop those 32 series videos in this apart from that we are planning to start new video series which is going to focus on uh, the important aspects of aims and need very specific to the examination so you can give such the time for this and of course we are going to uh, drop some uh an energy energy shots okay so so we are planning to drop some energy shots uh that are going to be a pdf containing few uh, important mcqs or single liners uh, mostly memory based so all the extra things you you have to keep uh, for your for for your conquer discussion whatsapp discussions and everything so what you are going to do in this leftover 3 hours is your wish if you if you have any backlogs cover them or if you feel like you are bad at a particular subject cover them or if you feel like apart from the material of mds conquer you need to do something extra few people have that they collect information from all the sources okay i'm missing this i want to cover okay you do whatever you wish you do okay your backlogs or your revision or if you are not able to manage in 6 hours extend here if you are not able to manage this 3 hours extend here if you are not able to manage this 3 hours extend here so this is a time or 3 hours is a time where you have to manage the things so i hope very clear right you have to split it into five parts two parts give to the present subject one part give to this pack of memory based subjects okay and the next part okay what is the next part one part you try to cover the examination and try to cover all these things and the left four part is the managing okay for example i feel like i need to revise endo 3 hours you give 3 hours endo so you three give 3 hours endo and try to finish endo next day try to manage operative 3 hours if you're not able to finish okay make it two days endo two days operative so in a week you can cover two days operative 3 hours 3 hours two days endo 3 hours 3 hours and followed by three days prosthetics 3 hours 3 hours so totally 6 hours of endo 6 hours of operative and 9 hours of prosthetics you are going to cover the pack of endo conservative and the prosthetics of course you are covering dental materials here every day so you you are going to cover that entire pack of subjects which are which are which are strongly related to one another so this is how you have to organize yourself to make your preparation better right so of course there is a slight difference between uh, the mode of examination of uh, aims and neat but overall the subject what you have to prepare for is common for both the exams right so aims and neat we have slight difference right so but the subject is same so don't come with a conclusion that what i have to read for aims what i have to read for neat it's same okay the subject what you prepare is same but you may get exposed to few repeats the repeats will be uh, updated very soon on the group 
so simultaneously on one side you can start doing the repeats and we'll have some special video based discussions on the recent question papers of both aims as well as neat don't worry about that okay so once the prospectives are clearly out i'm going to update a video over the aims uh, i i and i c e t uh, preparation so as of now we'll we'll talk what we are going to do in this upcoming test okay so now you have splitted what you, how you have splitted your 15 hours is being splitted into 3 3 3 3 and 3 right so in this 3 hours we have present subject in this 3 hours memory based subject in this one and a half hour, you're going to include PP books, all extra stuff of MDS Conquer. In this, you're going to plan your daily examinations or do some examinations. Okay. So finally, the leftover three hours is managing all. Or you can do whatever you want, your wish. Right. So what you're going to do in this three hours, now I'm going to explain. Six hours, I'm going to explain now. Okay, so first of all, from tomorrow, we will be covering oral surgery. So started with oral surgery. Why I have selected oral surgeries? Oral surgery is easiest among the list of subjects. Easy. It's more of a clinical based. So first day, exodontia. Exodontia is not going to eat your time. It's hardly going to take four hours of your time. But I have given six hours. You can cover it in four hours. Okay. So what you are going to cover in exodontia is very simple. That exodontia... Uh, you need to cover the indications, contraindications, absolute contraindications, relatively contra contraindications. Make a note. Try to cover the complications of extraction or exodontia. Particularly dry socket is very, very important. Common at which teeth, how much percentages of particular teeth will get affected by dry socket. All these are important things. Theories of dry socket. Okay. Management of dry socket. All these are important. Then extraction, coming to extraction, the order of extraction, which teeth will get, will be first extracted in a full mouth extraction, which is last. Similarly, when you're talking about uh, your impaction, okay, so what are the different types of impaction techniques what we use? What are the instruments that are used? What, what are the suturing material that are used? Most common type of impactions in maxilla, most common type of impactions in the mandible. Okay, what is the relationship between your mandibular third molar roots to that of the mandibular canal or inferior alveolar canal? Okay, so all these are most complications of your impaction. Okay, the suturing techniques that you follow during the impaction. All these are important aspects that you have to focus when we are talking specifically related to exodontia. This is a strong area and an area where they can ask you questions. So particularly you need to learn about your... Uh, steroid therapy during uh, dur during this uh, minor surgeries and uh, extraction okay make a note about that steroid therapy and here you have to make a note about uh, your um, antibiotics which are given okay so antibiotics which are given and followed by the NSAIDs which are given so you can relate it to your pharmacology over there and for example you need to make a note about uh, the contraindication procedures which are contraindicated in the case of infective endocarditis what are the dental procedures and what is the prophylactic treatment that you are going to give what is the prophylaxis antibiotic prophylaxis what you are going to give all those IV ratios percentages what is the percentage in the children what is the percentage in the adult all these are important which comes under the medical management of oral surgery so your all emergency procedures will be covered over here so everything was clearly detailedly covered as a single videos uh, in your medical emergencies okay so please do finish those videos that is more than sufficient so part of general anesthesia and general uh, uh, local anesthesia is already covered and make a note go back to your uh, pharmacology part open 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 your pharmacology smart videos if you're not done with this please try to finish off this local anesthesia general anesthesia part which is very 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 important so the first important aspect is this is very very important i'll give three star out of three medical emergencies is three star out of three and followed by the general and local anesthesia is three out of three so rest over i can i can drop two two ratings okay so you have your tempo mandibular joint disorders maxillary sinus and its complications cysts and tumor surgical part because the clinical part is already done in oral path and oral medicine and of course the maxofacial trauma i'm going to give it three stars among the rest 
So orthognathic surgeries, cleft root cleft palate is going to be three stars. You need to learn each and every corner. Pre-prosthetic surgery nowadays favorite for the most of the uh, uh, paper setters. That is a three star and facial neuropathy, malignancies and the recent advances I'm going to drop two stars. So this is how you have to finish the things by following the group. So individually, I'm going to help you like what to be done on that particular day. The next comes is we need to handle the general surgery. Okay, so general surgery, uh, the major content of general surgery is going to be this particular aspect. This one, this one, and this one. Major, okay. So all these are, I'll drop three stars. And most of these are not covered anywhere. Your AV, AV disorders are not covered anywhere. Of course, the swellings of neck and head are covered uh, in your oral path and oral medicine. But cyst ulcers, uh, all these areas are very, very important. Your burns is very, very important. You can see the recent need. There are questions on burns. There are questions on uh, uh, the replacement, fluid replacement. Okay. Uh, so all these are like you need to cover. Well, most of these are very well uh, linked with the smart video session. Okay, so it's going to be easy for you to finish the things fast. Don't worry about this. Just try to follow the group. Uh, I feel like hard it's going to take six hours to maximum seven to eight for a few topics per day to complete these topics at, at the best. Okay, so this is how what we plan for the general surgery. So the next comes is perio. So most of the perio aspects are uh, interlinked with your dental histology. So, so on 17th, we are planning to cover calculus, gingivitis, gingival enlargement and all this gingivitis, gingival is going to hardly take two hours. Your calculus is going to take one hour. So it's going to be just three to four hour schedule where you can cover in six hours. The defense mechanism, different types of periodontitis, prognosis and all these are you're very, very good at this. So it's very easy to finish off. When I'm talking about the pocket, different types of pocket, true pocket, false pocket, complex pocket, simple pocket, compound pocket. So you're different like patterns of bone loss, trauma from occlusion. So all the clinical features, everything has to be coordinated. Instruments is of course uh, a three star one that you have to make a note. Plaque control. Okay, your flap surgeries is again a three star one. They have given a question on furcation treatment of grades. You, you need to link your grades with the diagram based questions and followed by which you have to link with the treatment plan. So, so I'm going to give three stars for this. So these are the important things that you have to make a note when you're talking about perio. So then comes is the uh, dental uh, anatomy and dental histology. So this is going to be the toughest part of anatom uh, dental anatomy, which is well, well covered on the videos. So just watch the videos and try to solve the MCQs. So that's going to be more than sufficient. And uh, cal calcification and eruption sequences are very, very important. So that, that's the main content of dental anatomy. So dental anatomy is morally a memory based so that you have to cover on every day, every daily basis. Like you have to take a single teeth and you have to talk, talk about the single teeth. So you should be very strong related to the anatomical aspects of all the teeth. Okay. So the next comes is when you're moving to histology, histology is something like a reading a newspaper. You feel happy when you read but you may be saturated or you may be you may feel like this is this is going to be volatile once you're done with this but i'm going to prepare a proper sequence for this so that you can finish it fast and you can return it for longer duration of time so all the soft issues you're going to cover with the enamel and dentin in one day and occlusion is uh, the thing you have to give utmost importance if you're not done well with this uh, in your prosthetics or in your ortho so a uh, forensic odontology I have given one day, so which is going to be more than sufficient. I have dropped an extra two days over here to complete any backlogs if you have. So, so taking this schedule as a base and you have to prepare your own schedule according to your convenience or according to your commitments. Maybe you may have some event in your family in the upcoming week or, or after, after a 10 days. So you have to allocate your subject basing upon your convenience. So the next or uh, the last is your uh, general anatomy with histology and embryology. So histology and embryology have given utmost importance because most of us, we ignore these two topics. So osteology and everything will be done well by most of us, but we neglect this. So I'm going to prepare uh, videos over this. Uh, I mean, most of them were already covered in the video based discussions, but I'm going to prepare an exclusive videos over general embryology and histology to make it simple because uh, recent need has given some sort of diagram based questions related to general histology. So it's, it's our, uh, it's utmost important that you have to learn 
more and you have to work hard on all the diagrams also so followed by third and fourth we are going to have the revision and followed by the fifth is going to be your exam and from fifth to your november 20th so it's going to be two weeks you're going to have your final examination of from here in 24 days you're going to have your neat exam so i'm going to update the schedules once the dates are locked okay uh, once the dates are locked uh, we'll we'll try to modify and update the schedule so i'm just going to go back so what i told you is every day you need to drop some time for other subjects one is all memory based subjects so what are all memory based subjects your pharmacology your anatomy your biochemistry your physiology your dental materials your microbiology your dental anatomy dental histology your general medicine so these are the memory based subjects which i told you to do every day 3 hours so left over you have schedule of 3 hours every day so what my suggestion is along with ortho along with ortho i request you to do ortho and pedo so along with oral surgery i request you to do the revision of ortho and pedo so you can keep ortho and pedo ortho and pedo you can keep ortho and pedo ortho and pedo. because these there's some important common topics you can see your uh, orthognathic surgery is common topic cleft lift cleft palate is a common topic okay so you can you can just overlap them so that's the main reason why i'm including here right so in this day you can do general anesthesia local anesthesia which is a common topic for pharmacology you can finish it off pre prosthetic surgery here you can do prostho on that day here you can do prostho on this day so this is how you have to manage this 3 hours so what you are doing 1 2 3 4 4 so threes you are giving 12 hours of revision time for ortho and pedo when you are doing your oral surgery so you give 3 hours of revision time for prosthetics along with the pre prosthetic surgery one topic is common for both these subjects so next comes is the general surgery so along with this my suggestion is along with this thyroid learn the anatomy of thyroid also here S learn some general surgery general medicine related endocrine parts endocrinology finish endocrinology of you you try to revise the physiology general medicine endocrinology here because you are talking about the diseases of endocrine your parathyroid thyroid adrenal gland all these are diseases right so you just try to cover that subject along with this in this particular day giving the 3 hours okay so diseases of surgery diseases of oral uh, salivary glands and infections you try to cover your oral path and oral medicine 3 hours on this day here also you try to cover oral path oral medicine 3 hours or else you can keep some sort of endo endo 3 hours endo 3 hours you can cover operative here so once you are done with this with the perio you can cover other subject like prostho you can cover 3 hours make sure you try to touch each and every subject in the last 30 days so this plan of like 30 odd days or 20 or 8 odd days make sure you prepare a schedule which you are weak at and make sure you try to cover all the subjects apart from the things which are we plan to discuss or we plan according to the schedule so you can keep or we are done with orthopedo we are done with endo so you can keep conservative over here so dental materials anyway you are doing every day 3 hours in the memory based memory based aspect according to your schedule you prepare your own schedule okay so we are done with we are done with the most of the subjects in the in the previous modules okay so you can keep some community for two days community day 1 community day 2 okay uh, followed by you can keep your radiology you can cover on one day one day two days radiology and then at the last phase i feel like you need to uh, you need to balance like you need to i mean we are we are planning to drop so many videos on general discussions of uh, the topics uh, the minor topics and everything and try to cope up like prepare your own schedule okay and try to try to make sure that you try your best to cover the schedule so keeping a target is good no one is going to keep easy targets so target means big one 
so when you are not able to achieve your target on that day try to modify your next day schedule a bit keep it up one fight it keep it up one fight it so this is how you have to fight and improve improve yourself to best to to get best out of you okay so i'm done for now uh, yes rest we'll discuss on the group